Hello, my name is Moraro Mpilo. I am a research psychologist by profession. Um, I registered for my BA, my first degree was a B in, in psychology at the University of Johannesburg. My honors and masters was at the University of the Western Cape. I am currently registered for my PhD in a specialized unit called Child and Family Studies at the University of the Western Cape. So why study psychology? Perhaps we can just start by defining why, what is psychology. So psychology is basically the study of human behavior. It grants you the opportunity to contribute to the healing and growth of others. But one thing you should note is that if you are in a helping profession, the help always needs a helper, meaning that you need a support system. You always need to have people and resources around you that will help you. Um, so the journey of becoming a psychologist starts with a BA in psychology. When you are done with your BA, which is three years, you have to apply for your honors in psychology. Competition gets a bit tight when you're applying for honors and um, you have to register for your master's in um, either counseling, clinical or research psychology. And if you feel you've got energy, strength and you are passionate about studying, you can register for your doctoral degree or PhD. There's an alternative route, which is uh, the b side route, where you have a four-year program, which includes uh, basically the three and a year. And when you are done, you can go register for your master's. I'll explain a bit more about that. So what are the requirements for a BA in psychology? What I noted was that language is a prerequisite. So across the various institutions, I realized that there is a minimum of 50% for your home language and for English, it's around a minimum of 50%. But please note that the minimum is not good enough. You need to aim as high as you possibly can because the competition is very high. Some institutions require a 60 for home language and a 60 for English. For instance, the University of Johannesburg, but, um, the University of the Western Cape, it's just a 50-50 English and home language, but some institutions want higher marks, so try and aim as high as you possibly can. Another thing I noted was that they accept both mathematics, pure maths, and maths literacy, meaning for those who are registered, who, who, have, um, who are doing maths literacy, the mark is much higher than for those who are doing pure maths. So try and obtain marks as high as you possibly can. For those of you who have not written your exams, I am wishing you all the best. And my advice to you is aim for as high as you possibly can. So the BA is three years. When you are done with your BA, you have to have um, psychology as your major subject from first year, second year, and third year. And when the student is done, they have to apply for an honors program to further their postgraduate training. When they are done with the honors program, there's a six month internship. After the internship, they have to write board exams with the Health Professions Council of South Africa, also referred to as the HPCSA. So there is a minimum of 65% for acceptance into honors level. You need to remember that when you registered for your first year, there were a lot of students who got accepted for the program, meaning those students will be competing with you for the honors program. The minimum is 65%, but in all honesty and in reality, the max much higher. When I got accepted for my honors, the minimum was around 70%. I looked at the UWC um, prospectors and the course guideline for the honors program. I realized that 71% is the minimum. So 
think about other institutions. I know of some institutions that it is much higher than 71 or 72, it's around 75%. So aim as high as you possibly can once you've been accepted into the honors program so that you can register for the honors. So a bachelor in psychology. For you to register for a bachelor in psychology, you of course need to apply for the program. So there are various institutions that are providing the Bachelor in Psychology. Um, Nelson Mandela University usually accepts students through the BA route. Once they've been accepted in a BA in Psychology um, and they have completed 90% of the credits prescribed for the first two years of study, they can then be considered for the B psych program. So other institutions, you immediately apply for the BA and then straight into your Bachelor of Psychology. The advantage of this program is that it is four years and you get both your degree and honors. So you don't have to go through the competition of applying for honors. Well, you do, but it's not as um, tight or hectic as the BA route. When you are done with the four-year degree, you have to register for um, an internship, apply for an internship. Usually, these different institutions give students a placement for the internship. I'm not sure if it is paid or unpaid, but for the BA route, the internship is usually unpaid. So you do your six months internship, and when you are done, you go write your board exam, with the HPCSA and you are registered as a counselor, not a psychologist. You are registered as a counselor. You can practice, you can sit with patients and counsel them. Most people work for NGOs and some people open, open, open private practices. I know of two ladies who registered for who applied for the B psychology um, she did an internship worked in a couple of organizations NGOs and thereafter she applied with the HPCSA to have her own private practice she is a counselor but has a private practice there is the master's level if you are planning on becoming a psychologist there is a master's level so you do your master's in either counseling research or clinical so these programs are a bit hectic if you can remember the honors program a lot of students apply and in my honors year we had only 35 students registered for their honors in psychology so pay uh, you should pay attention to that and consider that if you're intending to study psychology for the master's level in my year which was in 20 17, I think, only 10 students were accepted for the research program and only 10 were accepted for the clinical program. There are thousands of applications that come in for the master's level. And as soon as you've applied, there are interviews that go through where you will have to sit with a panel of either researchers or clinical psychologists or counseling psychologists who sit with you and interview you to see if you are the best candidate to work with patients and if they see that you are well invested and your passion is in the right place. So this is mainly done to see if you are fit, usually for the clinical program to see if you are fit um, psychologically, emotionally, mentally, if you are fit to practice as a clinical psychologist in the research field to see if that you are invested in social justice and the betterment of others and if you're invested in uh, social policies. For the counseling program, I am not so sure about it, but what I know is that you have to do a one year full time you have to, to, to be registered as a student for one year full time for all these programs. When you are done, there is a compulsory internship that you have to do. With the research program, there is a compulsory internship that you have to do. As soon as you're done, 
you have to um, write your board exams with the HPCSA. So does it apply with clinical programs? You register, get accepted, you, you apply, get accepted, and once you've completed the coursework, there is an internship that is available for students. And as soon as you're done with the internship, you write your board exams and do community service, then you become registered as a clinical psychologist. So I have given a list of institutions that offer the B psych route, which I advise most of you that if you're planning on becoming a psychologist, I would advise that you take the B psych route because it is um much easier to proceed with it because as soon as you've registered for it you get to do both your degree and your honors you don't have to experience the competition and the anxiety and the stress of applying for your honors program so I've, there are three institutions on this page and the next one we've got more institutions so in the year that you're applying try and go onto the HPCSA website to see for institutions that are registered for this b -Psych program, institutions that are registered with the HPCSA so that you do not spend years in an institution that you would have to do a degree and you're done. You have to go apply for an honors and look for your own internship. Not that when you apply. So you can also do the BA route, do your honors and when you are done, do your internship but the b-psych route is mostly advisable hint hint so there are also other institutes other programs the clinical counseling and research this table is from the hpcsa data from 2020 um, that you can use so i am done and i am wishing you all the best in your future endeavors but I'd like you to do one thing for us or for me that you should like, follow, share, subscribe to our pages. You can either subscribe on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, or YouTube at itutor.co.za. Thank you so much for your time, and I wish you all the best to our future psychologists.